Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you're here. Today we are continuing on the College Performing Arts Majors Tips and Tricks and we're going to be talking about the difference between a conservatory versus a university. So that's going to differ in school dynamic, course structure, student expectations, the other outside college experiences. That's going to differ if you're at a university or if you're at a conservatory. So we're going to talk the main differences and hopefully this will help you out in making your decision on what kind of schools you should be applying to. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, first we're gonna talk course structure. A conservatory is gonna be highly centered on the arts, on your discipline. You're gonna have a bunch of stacked classes. You're gonna have a really full schedule with mostly the arts. You will of course have to fulfill the regular college um, requirements, like maybe an English class, maybe one or two science classes, but it won't be as much as if you were going to be at a university. A university has a lot more academic requirements that you're gonna have to go through. Um, you're gonna have to take more of those academic classes, the Englishes, the math, the science, the humanities, all of those classes you're gonna have to take a lot more if you're going to university. In addition to balancing your performing arts classes, the conservatory is a lot more centered on the performing arts classes going to be lower. So you're going to have a lot more attention at a conservatory with your faculty. There are going to be less people in your class, which possibly gives you an opportunity to ask more questions, to engage with the, with the professor. Versus a university, there are a lot more people in your class. It's not all universities. For example, the University of Michigan is within a huge university, but has conservatory level training. So the classes are only like 15 to 20 people. A really large class is gonna have 20 people. So you kind of get that mix of being at a conservatory, but at a university. But most universities, you're gonna have a lot um, larger classes or different degree liberal arts programs. Those are gonna have a lot more people in the class, um, less attention on you specifically, less of an opportunity for you to engage while the conservatory is more centered on you, you get the attention. Expectations of students. Um, like I said before, with the course structure, there's just more attention at the conservatory to your arts, to your discipline. So the expectation is that you're going to really focus in on those arts. You're gonna be practicing a lot. It's very time consuming. It's very rigorous. It's very intense but you're really gonna get the results at the end of your degree. They push you, but in the best way possible. In a conservatory, they might even give you a practice schedule. You have to log a certain number of hours. Some programs do that. Uh, while at a university, because there's more academics and other things going on in students' lives, there's not as much of an expectation in the arts specifically, but of course, any kind of college degree, any kind of program, they're going to be expecting you to be working on your own, working outside of class, practicing and getting better. So it's not that you, the university isn't going to push you. It definitely will push you. It's just that the conservatory is more condensed. It's concentrated on your craft and getting better. It's a little bit more rigorous. Student dynamic. I'm not gonna say that this is the exact, exact same for every single person, at a conservatory or university. It's certainly a generalization, but it's, it's true to some point, some degree, something you can consider as you're looking at different schools. But a conservatory, um, because people are so focused on their craft and working and getting better on their discipline, those people are gonna be typically a little bit more serious about you know doing what, what they're doing, what they're there to do at school. And with that, there's a little bit more competition among other people. At a university, you're gonna have a ton of different kinds of people, different kinds of personalities, because of what the university attracts, what kind of people it attracts, what kind of activities that they offer, opportunities for people to engage in besides just the arts and their discipline. You might have people that are double majoring in Spanish, a different language, computer science. You also might have the really, really big sorority girl who really wanted to go to a big university but also be in the arts and that's what attracted that person to go to the university. Um, there are just a ton of different kinds of people, different kinds of personalities that will be in your classes, in your class, and you will be able to engage with different kinds of people and that changes the student dynamic, just having all of those different kinds of people. Student life, the extracurriculars, the student organizations, Greek life, student government, sororities, fraternities, the Greek life. Um, that's going to be more seen at your university here rather than your conservatory because they're just 
more students at, at the college. Um, so there's more of an opportunity for new student organizations to rise out of a passion for a certain thing. There are also more opportunities for leadership within those student organizations, something to think about. It's more of a social atmosphere if you choose to use it that way, although not everyone is in the student organization if they're at a university. While I title this video Conservatory vs. University, there are actually some of these places that are going to mix and match from both, and they're kind of like a middle point between the two, which might be a good place for you if you didn't particularly sway one or the other. Um, maybe that middle ground is perfect for you. So I'll, I'll mention a few schools that actually do that. For example, the University of Michigan, highly academic place, number one public university it has been named in the past. And so there's a strong attention not in academics, but this huge academic school, within that it has a high conservatory level training in the arts. Also it has a nice separation between two different campuses, the arts are gonna be on a different campus. They're on the North Campus versus the Central Campus, which has the majority of other classes. And then on your North Campus, you have your engineering and you have your art, and you also have your performing arts. So that gives you more of a feeling of a conservatory, but also your classes. They're gonna be very focused on the arts as well. There's gonna be a lot more expectations than maybe a, a basic university that you would have. And also you're gonna have smaller classes, the faculty-student ratio, you're gonna have um, more faculty members, less students, so that there's more attention on you. What also comes to mind is the Cincinnati Conservatory of Music because it's housed within the University of Cincinnati, a very similar vibe to the University of Michigan. They don't have separate campuses like the University of Michigan, but they do have separate parts of campus. It's the same campus, um, so you have your high-level training, but you also have the ability to be in student organizations because you're at a university, you have to be in student government, be in a language club, do whatever you would like to be a part of, um, and you're still at the CCM, the Cincinnati Conservatory of Music. So you just kind of get the best of both worlds in those situations if that's what you're looking for. But really, you just want to choose the best option for you that's going to let you thrive and grow in your studies in your program. I hope that this general overview has helped in just figuring out what kind of a school atmosphere is going to be best for you to grow in your, in your studies. And, but I'd like to help you further. We're going to do a little self-assessment. So I'll frame it as, do I want blank? And then if you say yes to the question, I'll throw up what the answer would be if you would want more of a conservatory or a university, or, or if it applies to both, or if it's more of a mix. Um, and so this will hopefully help you out. I'll start with the questions. Do I want to focus on the arts? Do I only want to focus on the arts? How has my schooling looked so far and would I like to have more academics in my program or less academics? Do I want more attention with smaller classes forming a family bond with my classmates? Or would I prefer a larger class atmosphere meeting different people from different disciplines constantly and more camaraderie with different people? Do I want to participate in student government, Greek life, other student organizations? Do I want to meet people in different majors besides the performing arts? Am I highly focused on my craft and I only want to be around people with the same goals? Do I want to expand my knowledge and take electives in other academic areas? Do I want to double major or minor? Do I want to pursue a graduate degree? The reason why I add the element of the graduate degree is because if you are doing a graduate degree, that gives you another opportunity, another institution that you can attend, and maybe you wanna start out more general and have more of that student experience and then only focus on your craft. But for some people, you'll still wanna do conservatory, conservatory. Other people will do larger academic university than conservatory. But totally up to you, but I thought I'd throw it in there. So even after this video, I think it's still pretty hard to really know what kind of atmosphere you're going to prefer if you've never actually been in that atmosphere. So my advice to you is to talk to different people. Talk to people that have attended these places or reasons why they have applied to the places, what made them really enjoy it. Maybe they've taken a trial lesson. Maybe they've been on the campus and they can tell you more about the experience because pulling from their experiences in different environments is going to start to formulate uh, more of a response for you to know, oh, maybe I'm gonna prefer this rather than this. 
I like this element of this school, but I don't love this element of this school, hearing from other people, get multiple sources, get different opinions, and that will really help you out in making your decision and starting to think, this is my place, this is what I would prefer. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you got to the end, I so appreciate you. And please give this video a like. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. And let me know in the comments what you're thinking right now about the college and colleges, conservatory versus university, what you're thinking and what you'd like to see in future videos if it's college tips specifically or just vocal things in general. I'd love to hear about it and I'd love to answer those questions on YouTube on my upcoming videos. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.